Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, April 30th, 2012, and I'm Darko. Um, I guess my website is ggnonline.com, and ddarko2013 is my backup channel. Um, I just wanted to give a brief update. Uh, I wasn't there on uh, what, Friday doing videos, and then today I've just been basically every day uh, for the past week at least, especially the last week though, but the last three, three days have just been primarily focused on getting my speeds that I'm paying for um, from Mediacom. So here you see this lady is very happy. She's very, you know, satisfied. She's probably, you know, got her laptop on her, uh, got a laptop on her lap, you know, getting sterilized and everything, working on some uh, cervical cancer and that. So probably looking at something about uh, some story about Lindsay Lohan at the White House correspondent dinner. Well, not me, not not Darko, I don't usually refer to myself in the whatever third person, but no, I'm usually looking up articles that actually mean something, um, such as uh, real families uh, that, that show whatever, modern families, looks more like real families, right? Stuff about social engineering. And um, so they don't like that, uh, whoever they are. Uh, we know that they exist though. And uh, one of the things that they like to do is scale back your internet. So, see, I'm paying Mediacom online for 12 megabits per second. Now, when you actually look at it, what? I mean, I am paying for it, and I'm paying for high-speed internet. Look at the dates. So here's a test that I did on 425, and I only did this uh, basically to send to Mediacom to see what was going on. And uh, you can see the speed right there, a half a megabit, a half, a great F. They failed, they failed, but no, it wasn't Mediacom. It was not Mediacom. Um, looking at it today, what did I get? Oh, 0.9 megabits. Now every night after basically working away, I'm trying to get my internet up to speed, up to about 11, 12, like last night again, I wake up this morning and find all kinds of weird shit happening. You know, I unplug, you know, I hear people say, oh, I unplug my modem uh, and everything. I do that too. I've been doing that for the past couple months now uh, for different reasons, i.e. Um, it you being used as like a marker, you know, for uh, while you're sleeping, beaming you, pulsing you with different types of uh, microwaves and that. That's why I did it. Um, but it doesn't really matter because I've been waking up with these, uh, you know, Go, you know, going down here, you'll see the little, you know, when you go down and you check out your network, the file sharing will be turned on automatically. Um, uh, what else? Uh, all of a sudden, my network changed. It was an unidentified network, and then all of a sudden, it's network four. You know, the whole icon changes. Every time that I did something to get it back up to speed, whoever these bastards are working remotely, and I've turned that off too, all the remote switches and, and check, uncheck that. Um, they go right back in there, and what do they do? They bring my speed down to less than 2 megabits per second. And if you know how I do my videos, I cannot do it like that, guys. You know, if you look up here, see these little tabs? I'll have about 20, 30 of them up there. That's how I do my videos. That's how I have to do them. You know, so when they do this, I can't make my videos. You know, I have Microsoft Windows uh, Update. You know, I've had that checked off since the last remember last year almost a year now remember when i was going through that stuff in june or july last year uh last year uh you know i had to reinstall windows completely you know i even went to linux and stuff like that and that just i'm not i'm not that savvy guy so you know when you talk about you know uh proxy servers and stuff like that i i'm not that good at that stuff okay i'm a writer and that's what i do so uh, i just know basic stuff i do have malware bits so i got an anti-malware I got uh, a spy sweeper net. I have spy sweeper with virus, antivirus. I have uh, the main uh, firewall, <clears throat> excuse me, for Windows turned on. And what happens? Every single time I power up, it's turned off or the settings are changed and file sharing is on. I have two other firewalls as well. I do all kinds of sweets. I'm always clearing all kinds of cookies, man. If you only knew how many times while making videos in like a eight to 12 hour period when I make post those videos, I mean, I'm, I'm doing sweeps, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, even with the modem, I'm unplugging the modem and leaving it sit for a minute and letting it clear cookies off the modem. Most people don't even know that, 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 they're, that, that they're even there. So I don't, I'm not that savvy, but I know that stuff, all that stuff that I've been doing. 
um, just crazy stuff, guys. And I'm just, I'm only letting you see uh, what's going on behind the scenes here because it's pure madness. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of scratching my head here and I've taken everything that uh, viewers have said into consideration, but it's just really kind of getting out of hand here uh, because every time I spend all this time trying to work to get my, to get my speed back, it's gone. It's gone. So let's work to get my to get my speed back. It's gone. It's gone. So let's let's look at what Mediacom said because you know I was a little what is it perturbed right uh, after last Saturday was off for 24 hour period came back on uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, I made my videos Monday, remember? And then I was like, oh yeah, I'll do some chemtrail videos on Tuesday, right? And then I did that, and then boom, it was gone on Wednesday. And then that's when I did that one video where I barely put it out and it was like audio only with no video. You know, that's the first time ever I've had to do that. And then Thursday, again, back to it. They were, they scaled it down. I got it back up. By Friday, they scaled it down. It was actually out again. And then Saturday and Sunday, it's been basically me fighting to get above two megabits. And I've done that all those days and they bring it right back down. So, yeah, I contacted them on the 25th when I ran it, uh, when I ran a little speed test and it was like a half a megabit. But basically I explained my situation uh, that I just explained to you. This is what they said, okay guys? April 25th, they got back to me right away, which I was very surprised. And I was also very surprised by their answer, which was, I've taken a look at your account. The signals are going into your modem or the signals going into your modem are great. They said one thing that they did notice is the upstream bandwidth seems to be maxed out the majority of the time. So I'm getting what I paid for, right? Uh, when you connect to a site, it sends a request to make sure you are getting information. When your upstream bandwidth is maxed out, that request takes longer to get there. The longer it takes for the request to get back to the server and slower your speeds appear. This problem is normally caused by the use of online backup programs such as Carbonite and peer-to-peer -peer BitTorrent programs. If you are not utilizing any of these programs and are using a router, there's a possibility that someone is accessing an open connection and creating these problems. Let me repeat this again because no, I don't use the carbon, carbonite and uh, the whole BitTorrent thing, no. So, uh, you know, he says here, if you are not utilizing any of these programs or using a router, which I'm actually, I'm not using a router. I don't know if I should be, but I have a modem and uh, it, I don't know, it's not really necessary for me to have a router, but I think before when I had wireless, I had the, uh, somehow I had a router, a wireless router, but I don't know, see, that's why I'm, that's why I'm doing this, because if, you know, if you, if you are tech savvy, and, you know, you, now you know my kind of setup here, and what I've, what I've been uh, kind of experiencing, if I need a router, then, then let me know. Uh, it says here, if you're not, uh, there's a possibility that someone is accessing an open connection and creating this problem. So yeah, I remember someone mentioned that about all these little remote connections, these little ho uh, loopholes or whatever that they can bypass and go through. So, so you know, and this is this is the thing, guys. You know, this was happening when I started. I mean, I, I only had about six months when I started in late 2009 to early 2010, where I didn't have many problems with the internet. It was in the middle, I was in the middle of 2010, I remember, uh, that it really started to get bad, you know, I was, you know, I was getting the remote attacks, and, um, and then ever since then, since mid-2010 to all of last year, I've been just battling, uh, with, uh, whoever it is that's, rem uh, attacking my computer remotely and, uh, slowing, uh, basically getting, hijacking my network or whatever the network I am I'm attached to or connected to. So, uh, but just recently it's been really, really bad. And so I'm kind of been used to having slower uh, speeds than what I'm paying for. But then when I saw that it was a half a megabit I, I, and I couldn't even really make my videos, I knew that something was just definitely wrong. And uh, you know, I mean, we understand that the, uh, that the internet service providers scale back your internet as soon as you're done subscribing, right? But uh, it just doesn't seem, I mean, they're, they're, they're telling me right there that they're sending me that everything's being maxed out. I mean, if I'm doing like this trial period, right, for a year, which isn't a bad, it's not all that bad of a deal. I mean, you saw I'm paying $39, so it's not that bad. And then I bought my own modem, so I don't have to pay rent it or whatever, lease it. It's such a scam at least for 5 bucks. So for $39, I'm getting high-speed internet. Well, unfortunately, I'm not, <laughs> you know. And that's the crazy thing is like like I said in 2010, 
um, when I was living somewhere else and I had, what was it? It wasn't Mediacom, it was Comcast, right? Our buddy Comcast. What happened? Well, uh, our, spe <laughs> our speed got so bad that my roommate had, it was like, all right, we got to do something, you know, we got to do something. And he knew that it was coming from my videos. But he went man up and start taking on these telecom companies or like trying to ask them what's going on. So what did he do? Uh, he tricked me and lied to me and said that, oh, don't worry, uh, you know, I'll pay for it. We're just going to upgrade. So he upgraded like a dumbass, right? Instead of just trying to figure out the problem, no, he just upgraded. And then he was charging me extra in the month and the, in the rent uh, each month. Didn't know about it. Now, I know I'm going off on a, a side thing here, but uh, it just goes to show you how long this has been going on for and what, what happened? Well, I said, no, we changed the subscription. We went back to the normal one. We told them to get their asses out there and they came out and they did something. And they said something, they were looking around saying someone tampered with something and then he left and it was fast. And then again, it went got, got slower again. So this is what I've been dealing with. And I, you know, I've been contacting them for the past, what, uh, four months or five months, you know, uh, periodically when it just gets so bad that, you know, I can't make videos. And they'll say, oh, you know, do you want us to come out there or blah, 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 blah. But this is the they actually sent me an email right away and saying that you're being, your, your connection is maxed out. I was very shocked by that. But at the same time, it, it kind of verified that it wasn't going crazy and that someone is actually messing uh, with this computer and this connection. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, and the crazy thing is, look at this, they got, <laughs> they have my server in Kentucky. I don't even live in that state. It's almost by like Tennessee, <laughs> you know, and this all happened when the, when the network changed, when the network changed, you know, so it's like, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, when I remember when I was younger, I watched like a hundred times, it's like when they're sitting outside that gas station in the beginning, when George Carlin, about, uh, right before he shoots down, he's like, strange things are afoot at the circle, okay, and they are, and I don't know how to explain it, and I don't know if I'll be able to continue these videos, but I just thought I'd share with you, <laughs> Uh, what's going on here? I just did a test, you know, 1.53, you know, and I just did one by one, removed all these little security updates. They snuck a, a two of them last night. I, you know, when I started up my computer this morning, I was like configuring updates. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they just, they, little sneak attacks, right? So every time I do something, they do something to reverse it. And I don't even really, under, you know, I understand basic stuff about technology and computers and that. But whatever it is, I'm doing it and I'm unscrewing what they're doing and then they go back every morning and they do it. They, they just, they, uh, they screw it all up again. Well, it's not really screwed up. It's perfect for them, but it's bad for me. So, uh, yeah, I just thought you could maybe get a kick out of, uh, uh, kind of like what's going on here. And, you know, it's like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try to get a router or whatever, uh, but I'm on limited funds here. So, you know, it's like, I'll try, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to, uh, try to get some more security on this thing as best as I can, but I really can't do much. I mean, what are you going to do with these telecom companies? You know, they're, they don't even know they have no power over this. I mean, this just goes to show you guys, dude. I mean, uh, when, uh, when people give all these, uh, comments about, Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. You, need that. you know, I listen to you, but it's like, at the same time, this has been going on for a year and a half. <laughs> You know, and it's just like uh, when your ISP can't even tell you, they're like, wow, someone's, uh, you know, someone's accessing your account or your network. We don't know what it is. We have no power over it, but, you know, we're doing our, our job on our end. So this just goes to show you, this is in the name of the war on terror, right? It's in the name of the war on terror, right? They are, they're preventing terrorists. Remember what I said about who the real terrorists are? I'm sure most of my viewers are aware of that. But for those of you who may, like I said, for troll your pathetic asses into the common board and say, oh, you're just a tinfoil hat wearing blah, 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 right? You just go ahead and start talking about this stuff and you see what happens. You start talking about Lindsay Lohan the pre at the White House and, ooh, you know, and um, uh, certain types of things that they want you to talk about, well, you're not going to have any problems at all. In fact, you're going to be like this lady. You're going to be smiling, a happy customer, right? Getting the speed you need, right? So... <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to make any videos this week or be able to, so, but I am planning on going, uh, you know, on a nice little fishing camping trip next weekend, so, you know, get to relax, come back, and try it again. Thank you.